You know, one thing I like about Nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speak, you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear properly, yes, yes. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting. Like, no, he wants to understand. What, he's not fighting. But you, they taught you that if you don't hear, sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? <laughs> so they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude of a black man because to them you are boys and girls. They don't enjoy a person who speaks standing firm, looking right into their eyes and unshaken. That's what we should be. That's what we should be. We must be... and. That thing comes out of liberating the mind. But if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor, you will never do anything. You will continue to think less of yourself. We, we, you ought to liberate yourself. You cannot be EFF and still be sheepish. Once you join the EFF, it's a first step of mental liberation. That I am not my ancestor. I am a generation now which will never take what my ancestors took from you. I will never tolerate that. So, they don't hate Malema. They are all shocked by this black man who can speak to them like that, who can speak like that, who can confront them like that, because all blacks must be submissive. And when they paralyze you, they even come and then patronize you. That no, you are better than them. Those of you who even speak in that accent of theirs, yo, you even speak better than them. But I always get shocked that you say you don't want these colonial people, you want to be African, but you speak like Sir Ramapos. You can't speak like a person that you hate. You can't. You can't say, I hate these white people, they've oppressed us, they took everything from us, and then from there, you want to speak like them. Only in South Africa do we do that. You can go anywhere in the continent, including Zimbabwe, where they are educated better than us. They've got no accent. They've got Zimbabwean accent. They don't have this thing of yours because they've never seen themselves in the image of a white man. They saw themselves in the image of an African man.